And with droughts continuing in the region, farmers are really feeling the effects. Now, ETSU state climatologist told us last week farmers are having to feed hay sooner than they normally would, which is causing concern for the cost of hay or lack of hay going into the winter and spring when it's really needed. News Channel 11's Clarice Shaley spoke to farmers today about how this affects and the drought has that could also be seen in the future. A farmer is at the mercy of the weather. We live on the weather app. It's been a dry last few months for a commercial cut flower farmer, Linda Doan. As she prepares for the coming seasons, she's reminded she isn't the only one feeling the effects. The deer came in the last week or two of the season and ate every bud. I think it was just dry enough that they didn't have anything else and those buds look good because deer aren't supposed to like dahlias. Linda is now categorizing her dahlia tubers, a process that is a bit more difficult because even the tubers are feeling the dry weather effects. Now when we're digging them, the ground is so dry, the tubers come up easily, but the dirt falls off of them. And when you store dahlias, it's better to store them them in that nice heavy clay, but it all fell off the tubers because it was so dry. The spring plants have been planted in the greenhouse, which has drip tape installed, making it more efficient to water. Without rain, field crops have to be manually watered. The Dones planted cover crop here a few months ago. It's supposed to be sprouting with things like rye and crimson and clover, but as you can see, that's not really the case. The cattle of Cherry Hill Pastures are hungry. They're solely grass fed and with no rain, pasture rotation has been difficult. Roy Doan has had to sell some of his cattle earlier than he normally would. Probably over the winter, I may have to wean some of the calves from the cows because the, if I wean them off, the, the calves won't eat as much as the cows and then the cows, if they're not nursing and they go dry, then it won't take as much feed to uh, keep them in good shape over the winter. Roy believes he may have to sell more cattle as he goes into the winter as well. Calf crop sales bring in more money in the spring than in the fall. The cattle are normally fed hay in the winter, but they've gotten that earlier this year too. Roy pays a local distributor $50 to $60 a row. Buying from an exporter could cost $100 a row. Especially when you're an all grass operation, you, you are dependent on rain because you, know, you want that grass to regrow and you want to have it, you know, for as long through the year as you can. Every day I can go without feeding hay is a little bit extra profit. Like many farmers in the area, no rain is costing the Dones more now and could have future effects on business as well. In Bluntville, Clarice Shaley, News Channel 11.